you must be getting love wherever you go because the Cubs winning the World Series, uh, I, I can't imagine, I mean, actually I can, because I remember uh, the Red Sox winning for the first time and there had been a long drought and people lost their minds. Cubs, 1908, that's an even longer drought. The love must be insane. Oh, it was a long time coming. Yeah. yeah the, the fans have been overwhelming the support. It's unbelievable seeing how many came out to the parade and uh, out to every game all season long. I mean, they've, they've been very patient and loyal throughout this time. And, I mean, we, uh, we couldn't believe the overwhelming response after we won. I mean, not just in Chicago, not just in Illinois or, or even in the United States. It's just all over the world. There's so many Cub fans. The amount of emotion... I mean, I think that was something that sometimes it's hard to tell, like, okay, fans seem happy, but the amount of emotion that was coming through, and I was watching it on television, the emotion coming through the screen was intense. Oh. You've been exposed to. So you must be, I mean, people must walk up to you just crying, oh. wanting to hug you. Yeah. People are crying, and literally, they, I mean, generations of their family that didn't get a chance to see it. I mean, they're living this experience and just thinking of all their family throughout the years. And I mean, on the parade, we saw people crying you know, screaming at us. They were intense. Uh, people climbing up in trees, hanging out of buildings. Uh, yeah, that's stupid. I, I people mean, shouldn't, people they, shouldn't hang out of a building. That's really stupid. They did it, though. I yeah, mean, it, it yeah. Was, it was incredible just, just seeing the support. Uh, now, okay, game-winning double, 10th inning, okay? Mm -hmm. What's going through your mind? You get up to the plate. Uh, I would, I, I try to sometimes think, what would it be like to be this guy in that situation uh, and I can't. I can't imagine what it's like to get up in that situation and have to put that bat on that ball. What's going through your head? Boy, I'll tell you what, I was just as nervous as anybody else would be uh, going up there. Actually, they, they intentionally walked uh, one of our best hitters right before me in the lineup to get to me. Yeah. So there's a part of you as a baseball player that, you know, your, your pride is a little hurt, like they'd rather face me than that guy. So, right. you know, it, it kind of makes you really, really want to do it at that point. Right. Let's get no-hit Zobrist up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just, so. that's not your nickname. I just made that up. Yeah. I mean, if it catches on, Thankfully. sorry. Thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, no hit. Uh, but sad. so you get up oh, there yeah, and I, you have to almost get probably into a Zen space because I mean, I've always think of what I would do and I'm such an ass. I, if, we're in, if I were in that situation, I'd do the thing where I'd point for a home run. <laughs> I've always thought that that's what I would do and then strike out, but then drop the bat and be like, you're welcome. Just, <laughs> yeah. But you, what is seriously going through I mean, your head? I mean, we, I had to block out all the emotion. Any sort of emotion that I felt at that time, I just had to say, Put it aside, try to go up there, just don't try to do too much. Because if you, as an athlete, if you try to be the hero in that situation, it never works out. You really just have to try to stay within yourself. I knew that it was a really tough pitcher on the mound I was facing. And I was just hoping to get a ball that I could do something with. And he really got me into a tough count early in the count. I, I was really uncomfortable. He got me down and uh, I was just flailing at balls, just emergency hack. And then the last one was just uh, over the plate and up enough that I could get enough of the barrel to it. And when I hit it, I just, I think I lost consciousness. I mean, I'm running to first base. You did, you actually collapsed. Did I? I mean, and you were in a coma for a week. I, I didn't remember anything until like I was jumping at second base, you know, with my fist in the air, so. We have that hit. Do we have the uh, footage of that hit or no? Maybe we have a draw, yeah. I just want to see that again. And Don't so that's just. down the line. Yeah. I jumped, my helmet flew off. I mean, there was nothing else. See, that else doesn't happen in, in my business, in comedy. If I tell a joke and it does well, I don't start going, yeah! You should. Uh, Maybe you should. No, I shouldn't. It's very off-putting. Uh, <laughs> it really hurts the next joke. Um, but yeah, so you do that, and in that moment, it's just, there's got to be just an incredible amount of adrenaline. And It really was. I mean, I, at that point in the game, we had, we had had the lead early, we lost it, and then to get it back, I think we, we just felt like we knew right then we were gonna win the game. It was just a matter of time to get to the, those last three outs, and you guys saw me on the video as I came out. Just I mean, I was basically jumping up and down like a little kid. It makes you feel like a little kid playing the game again.